Uh, we don't have money. We used to get money from this plantation. Uh, it was giving me 3,000 kilograms per year. The whole of these plantations now giving me around the, oh no, 500 kilograms per year. The stems are drying up because of the weevils. We have even the, leaves, the rust from the leaves. And actually, the soils around are also not so fertile. As we can look around here, all our soils here, they are just the same. It has a lost fertility. So our coffee is not doing so well. But now due to poor conditions of weather, uh, you find that it brings flowers once, or they even drop, by the way, they don't bring up berries when coffee is affected by the drought or sunshine. Our young ones are being sent away from school. I think I've been to the country and I'm going to come to the country. I'm going to go 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 to the country. Together with Oxfam, wanted to come and in the Wenzoris to uh, make a study to see the impact of climate change on coffee smallholder systems and also their lively, the livelihood of coffee smallholder farmers. And the farmers said that yes, climate change is happening. They said like, yes, um, the rains are more erratic. Um, yes, we had a prolonged drought. So yes, it has an effect on our livelihood. Um, yes, you know, there are certain pests and diseases that are now more severe than before. In recent years, variations in temperature and rainfall patterns in Uganda have been extreme. Droughts and floods have also increased. These shifting weather patterns connected to global climate change will likely affect Arabica coffee production. Predictions show that climate change will have an impact on the suitability of Arabica coffee in Uganda. Uganda is the second largest producer of coffee in Africa after Ethiopia and the 10th biggest in the world. An important export commodity, coffee has been the largest single earner of foreign exchange since the 1970s, accounting for an average 20 to 30 percent of Uganda's export revenue. Coffee is the, the most important uh, foreign exchange earner for Uganda. For example, last year, Uganda obtained uh, 456 million United States dollars, which was a very big boost. And this year we are expecting around the same figure. If you combine all of the crops grown in Uganda, the amount of foreign exchange they earn for Uganda, they will still be lower than what coffee alone earns for the country. However, the future of coffee production is uncertain. Uganda's position as a major coffee producer is under threat, as are the livelihoods of millions of Ugandans. Uh, coffee, in particular Arabica coffee, is very sensitive to the climate. Unfortunately, temperatures are increasing. There are many models, but all of these models in the end all predict a temperature increase. The only difference is, one says it's one degree in the next 40 years, the other one says no, by the time you're 40, 50 years further, we are already looking at five degrees. That is a tremendous increase. We have been trying to see how would the suitability of uh, coffee production change if we take the average climate change scenario for the average model 
for the next decades. And what we see is quite dramatic. In East Africa and also in Uganda, we see the suitability of the areas reduce substantially and a few tens of percent of the areas will even become quite unsuitable for coffee production. It shows that the production locations of the crop will, will keep shifting. The production at lower areas definitely uh, will get some reduction in yields. Those the effects definitely will affect overall production of Arabica coffee. The most visible effect of climate change is uh, the shift in seasons. Previously, we used to start our coffee seasons at the beginning of August. Uh, they have been moved backwards to mid-September and they end earlier than usual. So once the coffee tree gets stressed by the drought and it all of a sudden rains, it will have the, the red uh, uh, cherry and the, the unripe cherry. The farmer will harvest everything. The green cherry will turn up into black beans during processing and we will lower the, the quality of coffee. It becomes harder for the farmers to harvest only the ripe cherry because they are all on the, on the tree at the same time. Sometimes if the beans haven't set, uh, some of the, the, the berries will, will rebot. They will die on the tree and they, and they form black beans during processing. The weather comes in changing, changing gradually actually. During that time when conditions were good, Actually, uh, coffee would bring uh, flowers, thrice. When rain becomes very much, it can affect the coffee. And when sunshine becomes very much also, you can tie one seed like this, and you find when there is one seed dead and one seed which is good, as you have seen.